into a fucking moon's destiny! Right, shit, I fucked it up. The joke is su supposed to be welcome back to a new series, which is a oxymoron. Anyway, let's look at one of the worst stages in the game. In the game that is pretty fucking infamous. Like, I'm just going to be ignoring how much is actually going on in screen because look at this shit. Look at these soldiers with absolutely terrible aim. Oh yeah, just ignore the fact that I hit a soldier, Sonic. Oh, a Chaos Emerald! Yeah, as you can see, a lot of shit is going on. So... Yeah, this is the level which everyone seems to run into pits on. Like, this one, for example, trying to help me attack these birds. Like, you know, it's not like this game has a camera function, just like every other 3D game does. And it's not like you even have to use the camera function, because... Well, look at how direct the path is in this level. And as you're going to see in quite a lot of it, I couldn't even figure out which pit I've seen every le every reviewer fall into in for this game because like as you're going to see all of the later pits have fucking guardrails on them which makes them even harder to swap up to fall into so yeah let's actually oh god's sake there we go switch oh, I should probably talk about the gameplay a little bit because well, it's a bit bombastic with all these lasers, so it might be a bit hard to figure out what you're doing immediately. So, of course, it's just normal Sonic control if you run around in different directions. Yeah, Black Doom, you're like the most edgy piece of shit who's ever existed. But, <laughs> shut the... Fuck up, Black Doom, seriously. So... Alright, main mechanic which will be utilised if you... I press the wrong button. X. Is these checkpoints. They allow you to walk back if you miss a checkpoint and that. So, well, miss a target or whatever. So let's say you're going after the objective of killing fucking everything. Yeah, the birds and shit can get pretty easily killed, you can. And then there's chaos abilities. Look, I haven't recorded gameplay in fucking months, so I'm very rusty. But yeah, as you can see, the chaos abilities, they also grant infinite arm ammo. As you can see, ammo count doesn't go down until I start shooting with Alex, which is really nice mechanic, to be honest. You'll definitely see me using that as opposed to the chaos ability, so... I also want to show off the fucking good chaos, just because... Let's... Oh my god, I can't shoot them now. Come on, let me kill you. Ah, oh, cool. Automatic weapon. That is really nice. Let's go further up in level. I think I've got enough positive energy to show off the chaos control. Which... Oh yeah, I need fun one to keep in this level. But, if we just focus on this shit... Oh, one more kill. Like, yeah, look, I don't get how people fall off the pits in this level. Look, there's fucking guardrails, and, like, sure, most of the time they're only attacking enemies off of here, but before... But if we go, like, here, you can see that running ahead, you can 
you can see all of the enemies in the area. There isn't a homing attack chain which would insinuate that you're supposed to homing attack off the level. So... Like, yeah, this one again. Like, that. Like, what normally happens is they homing attack off the level to reach enemies. So, again, I just don't get it. Anyway, let's actually do this. So chaos control actually changes between what mission you're using, but yeah, this one doesn't exactly help you kill any of the enemies or help you with any of the objectives. And of course, you can see that we can actually go past the going. We're not for this part just because it's the easiest mission, and I'm just tutorializing here. And no signal. And now it's reconnected, thank you. And then I'll be see. So yeah, the rankings are majoritively time based as opposed to anything else, which is entirely fine. So yeah, now we're actually gonna go through and do the hero mission. Just because it's a lot simpler to do so. And as you can see, I've already beat beaten all of the levels but not all the missions but it doesn't really matter because I'm mostly doing this for review footage because I'm going to try a different form of review oh yeah and also I forgot about showing off the rule running in this segment because I fell off it like a three times so yeah no stop like really Alright, that's good that it doesn't interrupt us. But yeah, you can pretty much play at least the first level just like a normal Sonic game and as you And you'll be able to see how people can go off of My god, so much shit is going on. Right. So of course, you, no, I'm not going to do it like that, I need to get better at this LP style. Like, no, I like hearing you get angry at me, black thing, fucking cunt. There you go. Oh, for goodness sake. Alright, this pit, I can understand. Like, this is one which I... Yeah, I think this is the pit, actually. I don't get it. You have to stand back so you don't get blown up. But even when you do get blown up, you stand on this section for a bit. You can see the pit. I don't even have to mess with my camera control to see it. Like, sure, I'm explicitly looking out for it. But as you can see within the earlier section of the level, you can see very easily visible pits. Now I'm going to actually switch back to Sonic so I can see my counter. And also, a lot of people complain about this being a bit finicky, but... But look, I've barely started the level and I'm already up to 14 within this bit. Like... Of course, this is like a lot of elitist shit going on about. Oh, I don't get how you can be such a fucking noob. <laughs> but I'm genuinely confused at this point. You, the level is in a lot of is in a lot of like you know elevated. Yeah, there's like a ton of pits all over the place, you can clearly see. And then, of course, this filthy. There you go. Oh yeah, and it gives you invulnerability. No way, anyway, I'm gonna hold me attack on these guys. Even though I'm gonna have to go back again. Yeah, we're all running. Now I'm gonna go back to fucking kill those guys again. I can backtrack! Wowzers! 
but yeah. I could have also used the checkpoint, but whatever. Give me the damage. But yeah, the Whoa, what? What was that? I want to see what that was. What is up here? But yeah, I think I'm like the only fucking person to use camera control within a Sonic game. <laughs> I know, I just think of it as like another platformer but a lot faster pace. Oh right, yeah, this is a key bit but I've already got the key so I can't really show that off. <laughs> well done, Leon. Anyway, so... Right. So of course this bit... This is why a lot of people get stuck with these missions. But of course you can see that the thing veers off and you can actually go in these directions and the camera actually adjusts for this for this sort of direction and then of course there's this side oh yeah it doesn't tilt upwards and this isn't even required for the objective so how do people miss doing it? There I go again, not getting how people are oh, right. No. Okay. Oh yeah, and then there's some stage elements which affect things too. This oh, right, I think this section is where there's aliens to no. That that's just a gun soldier. What the heck is happening? Oh, for yeah, but yeah, also the people complain a lot about the slippery control, but I don't really mind because you can literally stop your momentum like that. So if you're going too far, you can literally jump up, shoot a bullet, and then die. And like, sure, you could complain about wasting bullets, but again. You get them from killing the enemies. And let's... Yeah, why is the fucking gate anyway? Yeah, that's just... That's just a pit. So yeah, these just unlock a little extra bit, but they're not really required for the level completion. Nope. Alright, let's not keep... Not waste all the bullets. Well done. But yeah, there's also another mechanic there of just... I can't wait until everything gets shown off so I have to... So I don't have to show everything off for... The people who are probably watching this at stupid o'clock at night because uh, hey so I'm just gonna spam this shit hey, but yeah the reason why I don't actually mind the gun mechanic in this game is because it actually feeds hey, into the gameplay a little bit like you know it's it allows you to just run through the level really quickly and yeah And yeah, of course, this, this totally isn't the best level to show off the gameplay. And that is like, the biggest problem with the game, to be honest. And, cool, I've... Where's the other aliens? Yeah, they're not in this section. Oh, I'll let just... I skipped the checkpoint. Right. Not making good case for this game, missing out on one of the objectives. <laughs> oh well. Oh, I, I speed ran past that. But yeah, as you can see, just from using the checkpoint system, 
It actually makes backtracking a lot faster, as did I see a name in there? No, I didn't. Ah, there we go. Beyond the structure. But yeah, I don't get how people can spend half an hour on that. But even with that stupid fuck up from not playing the game for fucking months upon months, it only took me like one extra run through, not even that. And that's because all of them are on the beaten path. You don't have to go too too far away to actually complete any of the missions. Now anyway, let's let's actually finish up with the dark mission. So let's talk about why this is a bad first stage. First, the start of the gameplay it is they go for cinematics as opposed to actually showing off the gameplay at all. Yet by the time you reach the first checkpoint it's the time where you actually get any sort of regular gameplay. Oh I said Oh right, yeah, that's the alien, so I'm going after the gun soldiers now. And then of course the missions. Most of the missions are better than kill all the soldiers. Even though I had, even though this mission is exaggerated in how bad it is. It's still not that bad because all of the enemies are on the path. But again, it's still just a sort of tedious mission making sure that you go through the entire level slowly instead of actually venturing for the secondary path. And then of course all of the weapons in this level are pretty much the most boring weapons in the fucking game. Like you just... Oh, I want a machine gun. So, yeah, only until like halfway through the level do you even get a decent fucking weapon to use. Which definitely doesn't help with how a playable can. God's sake, auto aim on the fruit, for fuck's sake. But yeah, that also sorts out a lot. That stuff. Ah, God! A lot of lasers are fucking distracting, oh my god. But yeah, the guns actually allow you to go through the level fairly quickly. Yeah, I've got that key before. Oh, I've definitely got that. Yes. I do remember some of the gun soldiers were also being passed a bit. Blue Hedgehog spotted. Uh, what the hell is going on? So yeah, I do get for the kill human missions, but again. You can clearly see that there is a split in the path here. It's not super fucking obscure like a lot of people make out. Hold your position. They're too strong for us. And then of course, yeah, even if something is out of sight a bit, you can sort of look away and you will homing attack something off screen. Oh yeah, I got a... Wait, what's that slide attack? Oh yeah, ring dash is... Oh, I used all my bullets, cool. Oh yeah, I want to talk more about the level, about the game's combat because... Right, that is like the main criticism and marked employee of the game as opposed to any other 
And to be honest, I do really enjoy it. It's somewhat fitting. Because, again, the... While the guns aren't, like, super accurate or anything, they're definitely great for speeding up the pace of the level. And, yeah, I think all of the soldiers are up in the next part. And yeah, there's this section. I think you only see like one other section like this in the entire game. Which of course is quite a bad thing because this is supposed to be the fucking tutorial level. Uh, and then... I missed them again. Blah! Alright, let's just go all the way back, fuck it. And then... Yeah, they'll be up in this sort of section. Where be they? Yeah, I ran past this bit with chaos control, so... There they are! Okay, where is the last one, Black Doom? You fucking cunt. Okay, is he in there? No. Fucking hell. Alright. And I'm not doing this game any service. Well, no, to be fair, I did express that this was a shit level. There we go. That's where you are. Right, that's... Oh, uh, it's not quite at the end. But yeah, as you can see, he didn't actually direct us at all. When normally, in the other levels, the actual... The guides... Well, your mission partners will actually say, Yo, where the fuck are you going, man? The mission objective's back that way! They don't do that on the kill the enemy mission. And of course, they picked that for the fucking tutorial mission. So, 